In this video, we're going to look at prepaid expense amortization. Prepaid expense amortization is a sage intact module that allows you to automate the optimization of prepaid or upfront expenses, such as your insurances, licenses, and rent. By using the prepaid expense amortization, you can streamline your month end to close process as you'll be increasing accuracy and saving time by recognizing prepaid assets directly from your AP or PO supply invoices, you'll be automatically generating general entries for expense amortization, and you'll ensure that proper period cut off by accounting for expenses. What you're looking at on my screen is the prepaid expense amortization overflow, and it uses Prepaid expense classes, which is the backbone of the prepaid expense amortization. You'll be defining the prepaid expense amortizations period and how the prepaid expense should be amortized. We have the prepaid expense schedules, which will automatically generate the month-to-month -month prepaid expense schedule entries you post to your journal, which will be defined from the prepaid expense class that you've used. The prepaid expense schedules will create prepaid expense schedule entries, which are the individual journal entries automatically created by Sage Intact when you generate your prepaid expense schedule. The entries will be the ones carrying the prepaid expense information, such as your dimensions, the amount, GL journal, and so on. You will review the prepaid expense entries and post every entry of the prepaid expense schedule. You're going to add an expense which you will tag an expense class and review the expense schedule entries. We gauge to applications, accounts payable. I click on the plus sign just next to AP supply invoices. In the AP supply invoices, this is a prepaid expense for the license that we have with Quali Consultant. The base currency is pounds. The account is prepaid other. The license is 20,000 pounds. For the services department, the location is United Kingdom. Click on show details and select the prepaid expense clause. Make sure that you have the prepaid expense class added in the system before raising the expense. The prepaid expense class is quoted in software licenses, the expense amortization date, bit dated to the 1st of June, and the prepaid expense schedule name is Quali Quartini License. The prepaid expense schedule will auto-populate the post your transaction. If you have approvals in place, then it will go for approvals before creating the schedules. And we're going to go to the prepaid module, prepaid expense amortization, to review the prepaid expense schedule. Click on prepaid expense schedule, and we have the Quali Quartini license schedule. This is the prepaid expense schedule information. We have the schedule name, the class it belongs to, the type, which is AP, the start date of the expense amortization, the amount, the currency, and the tag dimensions. We have the credited GL account, which is prepaid other, and the debited account, which is amortization expense. The information that was pulled from the class, the schedule period, which is monthly, the term, the method, and the number of periods, which is under the prepaid expense schedule entries, we have four entries and the amount that will be amortized quarterly. Going to generate the amortization schedule. Yes. A refresh. I'm going to go back to the amortization schedule. And because we have generated the schedule, the status has changed from review to pending schedule generation. And we're going to wait until the status changes to schedule generated. The status has changed to schedules generated. 
and we're going to approve and start. Click on approve and start. Yes. We're going to move to the prepaid expense schedule entries and we've approved and started. We're going to wait for the entries to change from the review status to pending. It does take a few seconds to update the status. I'm going to click on refresh. The status has updated to pending. When you're ready to post the amortization entries, select the entries that you want to post. Click on the more action drop down and submit to posting service. Click yes. The status is unsubmitted. It will update to posted. I'm going to refresh and the status has changed to posted. Should you want to review the journals, you can go to applications, your letter, account entries to review the journal entries. That's how you would use prepaid expense amortization in Sagent.